Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we have some great news. One UI 6.0 beta number three with Android 14 is here. So let's go to my settings over here. If I tap over here, you can see we have a software update that is in fact available. I'm gonna tap on open, and then it's right here. Now, before we look at the details, let's see what the size is. It is a massive update. It is almost 1.3 gigabytes. It's got the updated security patch for September. The version ends in ZWI8, and then we have a change log right over here. So let's install this update and see exactly what is new. I'll be right back. All right, the update is now complete. Let's look at the changes real quick. Now, one change that is actually listed in the change log is this one right here. It's talking about the video player with the enhanced layout and enhanced playback and speed control. So let me show you what they're talking about. So if you go into your gallery and if you pull up any video, you are able to tap this button right here and then you can open the video player. Now when you open the video player, let me pause this, what's gonna happen is all the buttons have been grouped together that are relevant to each other. So over here, you can see the screen capture and the GIF button. We have play, previous, next, and at the bottom, we have all these buttons that were scattered all over the screen, now grouped at the bottom. And here is the playback control. So basically you can change the play speed from 0.25 all the way up to 2.0. That's gonna be based on you. So that is for the built-in video player. Now as a comparison, this is the old video player. You can see the buttons are scattered all over the place. Okay, so they consolidate all that stuff, put it down here, that is relevant to each other and the capture button and the GIF button have been bundled to the top. Play, pause, previous and next are now in the middle and they took these three buttons and put them at the bottom here as well, okay? Just a point of reference. Now in the actual change log where Samsung doesn't do a great job, we're not seeing anything else. It is saying a whole bunch of bugs have been Fix. But I did notice one thing I'm gonna show you real quick. We're gonna come back to the actual change log in a second. But if you go to device care, and if you scroll down to auto optimization right over here, you are now able to, in fact, go into auto restart and also schedule it. Now previously, as far as I remember, this was just set automatically completely. And I'm talking about based on the recent updates. But now when you go inside, you are able to restart on schedule. So if I enable this, I can pick a day, like in the older versions of One UI, and I can actually pick a time and all that stuff, okay? So they put that back in there, so that's great. And one more thing, if you go to the settings and if you scroll down to device care, you can see now they also added performance profile under this performance tab with auto optimization. Now, one more thing I've seen mentioned is if you have the media player in your notifications panel or the lock screen, this is the expanded state. This is the collapsed state. So basically, uh, the phone is gonna remember which state you left this in. This might be a feature or it might just be a bug. So I'm not sure, but if I have it in expanded state and if I exit, now when I go back, it is gonna be back in its expanded state if I collapse it, okay, and if I pull this down, it is gonna be in the collapsed state. The same thing is gonna apply to the lock screen. So you can see it is back in the expand state, even in the lock screen. Now let's do this over here. Okay, now let's see what happens. Collapse state. Okay, so that's another thing that has been talked about. Now there was one more change that I had seen previously. I just wanna bring that to people's attention real quick in case you haven't seen it. But when you go to reset, okay, and if you tap on reset right here, we now have this option known as the temporary cloud backup. So basically before resetting your phone, you are able to back up the entirety of your phone to Samsung Cloud for free for up to 30 days. So you back it up, you reset your phone, maybe to fix it because you're getting some problems or issues, but then you can come back here and restore the data, and this thing is powered by Smart Switch. So in case you have not seen this, this is one of the newer features on Samsung phones, and it is not really specific to One UI 6.0 because I've seen this on the Fold 5, but it's something you should be aware of. It's probably gonna be available on all One UI 6.0 devices. Now going back into the settings, 
Okay, let's go to the uh, software update, last update, and let's take a look at the bugs that have been fixed. So, so One UI Home is now better, and we are talking about One UI Home, which is this one. So I don't see a huge change here. It just feels like the last time as far as uh, performance and fluidity and smoothness is concerned. But overall, I do not have any issues with the way it feels. So let's do an overall check. I'm gonna launch a couple applications. Okay, nice and smooth, just like before. No changes to the way it happens. Let's uh, launch the folders. Okay, nice and smooth. Now you might feel some choppiness every now and then. This is the beta. Scrolling is no problem. Bring this down. Let's see if there's any animation changes here. Okay, it feels a little different. Okay, so this one feels a little bit different. It actually feels nicer the way it drops down like this. I do like the blur effect in the background. I think it's the same, or it might have changed just a little bit. You can drop a comment down below and let me know. But that's great, okay? Very smoothly dropping animation here. Okay, let's try one more thing. Go to settings, just go up and down. This is the same as before. So no major changes to the performance or animations or the overall feel. Now going back into the actual change log. Now with some people, when they were pressing on the screen, it was stopping the phone for a couple minutes here. So that has been fixed. Camera app was crashing when you entered the video mode. That has been fixed. Samsung Pay problem has been fixed. And funny enough, under the bug fixes, they just added a feature that was added. So it says automatic restart of device care has been added which I just showed you guys under device care, under auto optimization though. So this should be over here under new features, but looks like it was added here as a bug fix. It says improve the shape of notification icon in text message. Not sure exactly what that is. Some fixes to Dex and some fixes to routines. And of course we still have some known issues that they will probably be fixing in the next beta update. They're listed right here. You can pause and read what is happening right here. If you are having these problems yourself, drop a comment down below and let me know. And also if you have noticed any new features that I did not see, drop a comment down below, let us know. But that's it, One UI 6.0 beta number three with a very few new features, but a lot of bug fixes and improvements overall. Like we said, this is almost 1.3 gigabytes in size. Questions, comments below. For now guys, have a fantastic day.